We are offering this Mass as part of our Pentecost Novena. All of our other Novenas start on the day like Mother's Day and go for nine days, but our Pentecost Novena is to prepare us to receive the Holy Spirit anew this Pentecost. So we do this ahead of time. So our Novena or our Mass intention is that our hearts will be open and desire the Holy Spirit. We also offer this Mass for all those included in our parish prayer list, which you can include people on if you go to our website. We also offer this Mass for all those with the coronavirus or those who are suffering from the effects of the pandemic. Our entrance antiphon O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his own wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at His ascension to the heavens was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant, we pray, the just as they received multifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too you may bestow spiritual gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit, spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. 
All you peoples clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon His holy throne. God is King of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you, that I will ask the Father for you. For the, fa for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just something to point out. <clears throat> Whenever they speak of the scriptures in the Bible, they're talking about the Old Testament. And so when they say that Apollos was an authority on the scriptures. He didn't have the New Testament. He had the Old Testament, and he had the witness of the people who would receive the message from the apostles. So, Priscilla and Aquila, they had the message from Paul. Others had it from other disciples. Apollos, uh, Apollos comes on the scene, and he hears the good news, but he doesn't get all of it. They say that with ardent spirit, he spoke and taught accurately about Jesus. But he didn't know everything. He only knew of the baptism of John, which was simply a baptism of repentance. Not the full baptism of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit which is a baptism to new life. And so Priscilla and Aquila, they take him aside and explain to him the way of God more accurately. And during this period of time between Ascension and Pentecost, this is a good time for us to ask God to reveal himself more fully to us. Accurately, yes, but also in a personal way, so that we don't just know about God, but that we know God. Let us bring our prayers and petitions before our Father, for our church that we will be drawn closer 
to God, to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, to the Holy Spirit during this time of preparation for Pentecost, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer for all the people of the world that we might grow together as brothers and sisters during this time of trial. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who don't know Jesus, or for those who know a little bit but need to know Him more, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus or from the effects of the pandemic, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear all our prayers, for we ask them in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, in accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. <coughs> For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth 
are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring you judgment, condemnation, but through your love and mercy, be for your protection in mind and body and the healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body of Christ be the last day.
our communion antiphon. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me also may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God and his Holy Mother. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat>